Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina and this is Mommy On and this is a new video. I know it's a little late in the week. I usually would post a video like this earlier but this just so happened to come in today. So I waited all week long to do this video for you guys. I'm really excited about it. It's my very first Ipsy unboxing and I decided to go with Ipsy because it's only $10 a month and I kind of like their little survey that they do at the very beginning when you go to their website and sign up for it. You pick out like what looks you like, what products you'd prefer over others and so I'm really excited to see what they picked out for me in my Ipsy bag which is this gorgeous pink foil bag and I did scream like a baby when it came in. Um, luckily all the kids were awake so I didn't wake anybody up. But this is the bag and it's from Saddle Creek Ipsy and that's what their shipping address is. I didn't read it too thoroughly. <laughs> I just tore open because I knew that's what this was going to be. So let's open and the first thing in here is this little card and it says Rebel Rebel Ipsy. Um, on the back it says tag Ipsy says you're it, misfits, rule breakers, and other things that I'm not going to say. Coloring outside of the lines is encouraged and, and then it has some hashtags that you can use and a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then it also has tips and tricks for this glam bag, um, specifically at a website. So that's cool. I'm excited to check out all of that. And of course, the next thing is the bag. Um, I really like the look of this bag, although it is a little bright for my taste. I think this is a really cool bag. Um, I'm definitely going to be using this actually for my kids though. I think this is gonna make the perfect little first aid summer kit to throw in their diaper bag because it's bright enough that I'm not gonna lose it if I take it out. So I really love this. It just has things like makeup, Ipsy, <laughs> so it has some words on it that look like they're spray painted, which goes with the Rebel Rebel theme. Um, this is just a plastic zipper with a little Ipsy tag on it. And inside, the first thing I see is Urban Decay Lounge Eyeshadow. That is awesome. I've been wanting to try this color actually for a while. Um, well, I'm not going to say a while, for like a week, because that's how long I've been looking into makeup at all. Um, but Urban Decay is a really good brand, so I'm really excited. This one is the one that goes from green to red, depending on the lighting and how you're looking at it. Um, so I'm really excited to try this out. The next thing in here is a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. And it is in the color of Swerve. Let's see. And it is a full-sized eyeliner, so that's really cool. And Swerve is a black. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch it. And it's just, it's just a black. Um, I actually really like this color though because it's not super dark. That's kind of cool. Yay. Okay, so the next thing in here is a three-tone bronzer, and this is from Crown, crownbrush.com. That's really awesome. It comes with a coupon code or a discount code on the back of it as well, so that's really neat. Oh, and the other thing I do wanna say about the eyeshadow too is that it is, it's one of the eyeshadows that you would buy a palette for and then put this into your palette. So um, I'm gonna have to go online and order a palette to put this in. So if any of you guys have suggestions on a good palette that this will work in, I'm sure Urban Decay has some. Um, I just don't know what's best, I guess what protects it better, um, if that's even a thing. But if you guys have suggestions on palettes, leave them in the comments below, as well as your favorite color from Urban Decay because I'm obviously gonna need to order more. Um, the next thing in here is Julie G. And it is nail polish. 
It's a limited edition nail color. And I love this color. It is so pretty, oh my goodness. And as you can tell, I am in desperate need of doing my nails. I haven't done them in like two weeks and I've been doing a lot of gardening, so my nails are very chipped. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I really am loving that. I don't know if it's in focus for you guys, but it is so pretty, very summery. Very ocean blue, love this color. Okay, and then the next, oh there's two. The next things in here are these two Bio Republic face masks. One of them is a pomegranate illuminating fiber mask and the other one is a cucumber breeze soothing fiber mask. I'm really excited about these because I have been using masks like crazy. Um, if you watched any of my previous videos, in one of them I did a Target haul and showed like my starter makeup kit that I purchased, which included e.l.f. products, and I used an e.l.f. hydrating primer. So I don't know if that's what's causing it or if it's the hormones from pregnancy, but since I've been using that product, um, I have been getting breakouts, like crazy amounts of breakouts, which is not normal for my skin. So I've been using masks to kind of try to counteract that. So I'm really excited to try these because I'm down to my black sugar and charcoal mask. Um, so I don't have anything that's kind of like soothing or, I don't know, not so rough. This one's like coarse. So I'm really excited to try these out. These are definitely gonna be good things. And the bag is all gone. So that is what was in my Ipsy bag for June 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Hopefully you guys found some products that you're gonna look into. If you have any questions about the comments, leave them below. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to wear some and do a little video on that as well. See you guys later. Bye. And the kids are screaming. <laughs> okay, so this is the makeup that I had on earlier. Um, I've used the nail polish, the limited edition color, and it does not have a name. I looked everywhere, but it just says limited edition, but it's really, really pretty. I did it really fast. It needs to be touched up, but I like it. It's not super shiny. It's kind of matted, which is neat. Um, it'll focus in a second but it is really, really cool. Here we go. So I really love this color. Um, it's very fun and perfect for summer. So this half of my face is my normal thing with the CoverGirl e.l.f. powder. I used a little bit of my highlighter in custard goldenrod colors from my palette that I got a couple weeks ago. Um, my All May eyeliner, which is like disappearing because that's what it does. It never stays on for long. And then like a Maybelline mascara. So I used the ColourPop eyeliner on this side. I just went over whatever I had already on my face. Um, so this is the ColourPop one and it's in that swerve color and it's just like a dark black. But the gel eyeliner went on so well. Um, I love it. It's really hard for me to keep this eye down for some reason. Got like weird. But um, it went on really well. It was really good coverage and it stayed on so far. Usually my eyeliner smudges like very quickly. Uh, we have really humid weather. So eyeliners never work. I always had to do eyeliner and then smudge in some eyeshadow, which I didn't do today. Um, and either a black or navy to make it kind of stay and look well. So this is the ColourPop eyeliner. That is the eyeshadow, the lounge from Urban Decay, the one that goes from green to red. And it was weird putting on, I felt like I wasn't getting it all over my lid because it would be green like over here and then it would be red. Um, I like it a lot actually. I'm really impressed with it because this is just the custardy with the gold. And this is, Obviously there's custard and gold on the outside, but you have the lounge on the inside and it's a really cool night look. I think I will use this a lot at night. See, I'm just playing with my eye and this like eyeliner still is not, it's not coming off. It's awesome. I love this. Okay. 
And then I used the three-way bronzer on this side over a highlighter I already had. So the shimmer, I don't know if it's from the highlighter or from this, but this does have a shimmer in the, I want to say like, it's like the bronze color and then the maybe taupey color. Um, those two have shimmer, the pink does not, so that could also be where it's coming from. I did not use the highlighter past this point, so this is all from the bronzer. And down here is all from the bronzer. But I really like it, it's natural looking. I had another bronzer that my four-year-old destroyed this morning, and it made me look like dark and cakey, and this one went on really smooth and has good coverage and it looks like a natural glow. Um, so I really like this bronzer, love the nail polish, love the eyeshadow, and I love the uh, eyeliner. So I'm really excited and happy for my bag. I haven't used either of the masks yet. I'll probably use one tonight. Um, <laughs> I love it. So Ipsy was a really good purchase. I really enjoyed the June bag. Um, if you guys have gotten an Ipsy bag, put your links below uh, in the comments section so that I can check out what you guys got. If you got something different, definitely like let us know that it's different so we can go check those out. And if you guys have any questions, as always, leave a comment down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so you can see more of them. And of course, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later tonight with our bump date.